So it's not often you'd expect Mercedes to fear its car, given they have been the dominant force since the start of the hybrid era. But we haven't even got the 2022 season underway officially yet, and Mercedes has already said that there is one element of its W13 that has been a massive terror for them. And on top of that, I think Ferrari are hiding something big on its F175, and it could end up being a real threat to rivals. In this video, we're going to take a look at both Mercedes and Ferrari. So let's jump into it. So let's start with Mercedes and the question is what is terrifying them? Well believe it or not it's actually the power unit and more specifically how it's gone from having little rearrangements to something which has been a massive issue for them in developing this year's car. Now given the car is so different this year as there are new regulations, finding the sweet spot for it to sit can be tricky. And on top of that it's important for F1 teams to get on top of the engine this year given there is an engine freeze coming into play once the season starts. As well as this a new E10 fuel is being used this season which is causing problems as teams are trying to overcome the power deficit that comes with it. Now whilst Mercedes has been quick in the first pre-season test in Barcelona, nothing is guaranteed as it's impossible to take times from testing as legitimate as everyone is running different programs and fuel loads. So whilst it doesn't seem Mercedes are facing issues with its engine at the moment, you never know what's happening behind the scenes. And Highwell Thomas, managing director of Mercedes High Performance Powertrains division, spoke about how the team's previous designs are very different to what it is now. Speaking in a video on the Mercedes F1 YouTube channel, he said, We all know how much work's gone in to get it into the car. The front of engine is just completely different. I guess over the years, we kind of talk about the front of engine, but almost every year we're rearranging it. But this year wasn't a little rearrangement. This has been a massive terror. Now personally, I can't see Mercedes facing issues. I think while everything is different this year, they will be on top of finding the right place for it to sit, and given how well their engine has performed over the years, I can't see them all of a sudden struggling come 2022. So that's what's on Mercedes mind at the moment, while they also continue to play mind games with everyone as they usually do this time of year. But let's move on to Ferrari, who in my opinion are hiding something big on its F175. As we know there has been so much hype around the team given the amount of time they have put into this season. Now following the first pre-season test in my opinion like Mercedes Ferrari are looking good having completed a good amount of mileage while setting decent lap times but nothing can be taken from it. But going into the second test in Bahrain, whilst the likes of Mercedes and Red Bull are bringing in upgrades, Ferrari aren't. Mercedes are set to bring in a raft of aero upgrades, while Max Verstappen has said his car is going to look completely different in Bahrain, as well as the first race. Now you'd expect Ferrari to do the same, but instead at the second test they are going to run the same spec car they did in Barcelona. So why are Ferrari doing that? Well team boss Mattia Bonotto explained that he thinks the team can extract a lot more performance from its current F175. Speaking ahead of the next test this week, he said that the team will be looking to optimise its current car, adding it's far from its best performance as there's more to exploit while the team isn't using the best engine modes and high fuel loads. He added, we are more focused on extracting more pace, not only in terms of setup engineering, but as well as in terms of driving style and the drivers themselves. So let's wait and see, let's see what others will bring. Certainly as Ferrari we are always concerned on upgrades of our competitors and I'm pretty sure they will be very very strong by then. Now whilst trying to get more from the current car is understandable since it will make it easier to introduce upgrades without running into problems, I reckon Ferrari also have something big in the works. Now I don't think it's the power unit, I mean the team have pushed so hard on this and we've already seen its potential, with an upgrade last season helping the team grab third in the constructors, and I think it would be too late to bring in anything major now around the power unit given the imminent engine freeze. So I think it's something to do with the aerodynamics or chassis, if it's on the aero side I'd assume it would be to extract more ground effect without having the side effect of porpoising, which I've explained in another video which I'll leave a link to in the description. Or if it is the chassis, it could be a around making it lighter. As we know drivers complained in the first test that the cars were feeling sluggish in the corners, which is understandable given they are naturally heavier this year with bigger tyres, brakes and so on. So making the chassis lighter will help the cars feel more nimble through them, so perhaps it's something Ferrari have put a heavy onus on. But guys, I think we're going to have to wait until the first race in Bahrain to see what upgrades Ferrari will bring. What do you think they'll be? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care. Bye.